good guys it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be talking about the secrets to thick locks so let's get right into it okay so for those who are new to my channel and are not fully aware of my lock journey this is my second lock journey that I am currently on. Now, for those who have been rocking with me for some time, you would already know that. And you will also know that there were many different reasons as to why I decided to restart that journey. So as you would know, in my video where I had shared with you all about cutting my locks, which I'll link right above here for you to go and check out, I did share with you all some of the reasons um, why I chose to cut my locks and one of them was you know the sizing of it I did not like the size of my locks so during that lock journey which lasted almost two years I wasn't very happy with my locks because I was like they are thin I don't like it my hair don't look full when I retwist my hair it just looks flat it doesn't look how I want it to look so I thought I'm gonna cut that and start a whole new journey and I know exactly how I want my locks to look and I think in that lock journey I had 89 locks at the time when I had um on um cut them off or counted out my locks I think it was about 89 locks um, but before that I had more you know so with this second lock journey I started this journey with 69 locks so it was 20 locks less than what the first lock journey was right and I thought to myself okay well I like how I've parted my sections they're much bigger and much more they're more so um, you know around the same size because my first lock journey as well you know some locks were bigger than some etc now during the first year of my second lock journey I loved how my locks were looking I'm like yes 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 even though there were some of my locks where I felt like you know they were a bit thin and I didn't really like it and I felt like I wanted to just start it all over but then I was like if I was to cut my locks it's not gonna give me well not cut it but if I was to do them bigger it's not going to give me the fullness, the coverage of the plentiful locks that I would like to have on my head. Now, two years into my lock journey, as I've shared in my two years lock update video, my locks don't necessarily have that same thickness. But obviously, this current lock journey is definitely thicker than the first lock journey. So as that went by, um, I cut some of the locks that were at the front of my head and I'll insert um, a footage right here to show you what the difference are in these two lock journeys. Now, clearly the thinner locks that you're looking at right now, that was from my first lock journey. And you see how thin this is, right? It's really thin. I didn't really like it and I thought, no, don't want this this is too thin my locks just look fragile and weak and now looking at the thicker locks this is for my second lock journey and i'm like yes do you see how much of a difference this is this is so much different right and clearly as we can see the thicker you do your parting the the thicker the thicker the bigger you do your parting the thicker your locks would be but is that thickness the thickness that will carry on throughout your entire lock journey now that is a major difference now this is what i have found to be the secret to thick locks there's two main things that will determine the thickness of your locks and that is your hair's density and your hair strand thickness when it comes to hair density this simply means how much hair is within a square inch on your scalp so have a look at this diagram that i've just drawn right say this is a square inch of your head and i'm putting all these dots in this square meter right here that is the amount of hair that is growing in just that small section of your head now if you have a lot of hair in a small square section of your head you know square inch sorry and there's a lot growing there imagine now when you were to part out um, a section of your hair to do a, um, you know to form a lock now there's a lot of hair in that one section right there so when your hair starts to lock it will be thick because you've got a lot of hair 
in this one section now if you have a look at this section here now if I put a little bit of hair in this square section clearly if I was to form a lock from that then you can see that the locks would not be that thick it will come out quite thin no matter how big you do your parting yes it will come out a little bit thicker but it won't be as thick as you expect just like I've showed you with my hair in my second lock journey, clearly, you know, when I parted out a bigger section, my locks came out thicker than it was when I parted out a small section in comparison to my first lock journey. So the density, the amount of hair that grows in a square inch off your head definitely plays a major part in the thickness of your locks right so you have to understand what your hair density is like because if your hair density is low no matter how big you do your sections yes it will be a bit thicker than if you were to do them small but you probably won't get the thickness that you're after especially if you're like me and want a lot of locks on your head and you want them to be thick it's not gonna be thick. It's gonna be very thin and you're gonna be upset like I was upset during my first lock journey. Now the thickness of your hair strand also plays a part in the thickness of your hair. Now once again, I'm gonna insert another clip showing you how the thickness of your hair strand may affect your thickness of your locks. Now the thicker hair on this piece of paper here that you're looking at is my husband's hair. So if you have a look at his hair strand, do you see how thick thick his hair strand is in comparison to mine like when I look down at his hair you can clearly see his hair strand you can see the thickness of it now imagine somebody with thick hair strands and a high hair density in a square inch on their head imagine that person forming their lock right now that person's lock will be really strong and really thick right it's gonna be so just voluptuous everything that I want in my locks you know but if you look at my hair strand how thin it is in comparison to his and then having low hair density in a square inch on my head clearly I would not get the same amount of thickness and strength in comparison to someone like my husband if he was to have luck so going through this journey of mine it definitely opened my eyes and I'm like that's clearly why because during my second journey I did my hair my um, sections thicker because I am aware that people say if you want thicker locks do your partings thicker or bigger right and I've done that and I still didn't achieve the thickness that I wanted so the thickness of your hair strands as well as the density per square inch on your head plays a major role but anyway guys i hope you found this video very helpful and this will help you with your lock journey for anyone who's watching this and want to start a lock journey and they are specifically going down the route of thick locks I hope you guys find this video very helpful and if you did then please give me a big massive thumbs up drop a comment to let me know you found it helpful share and make sure you are subscribed so until next week Sunday at 5 p.m. I will be right back here with another video bye